Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a makeup slash beauty products haul for you. So if you would like to find out what I got, then just keep on watching. So if you're quite a common watcher, no, if you're quite a regular watcher on my channel, then you know that I shop quite a lot on the Time Beauty website. And so they have a mix of brands like Makeup Revolution, I Heart Makeup, Freedom Makeup and a few others and so yes i quite like going on there quite a lot so the majority of this stuff is from that website so yes i'll just dive right in so i'm going to break it down into more of the sort of different brands that i got from them or the products that i got in their separate brands just an easier way for me to keep the video more organized and so tan beauty recently they had a 70% up and up to 70% off sale on quite a lot of their products on their website and so the majority of this is from that sale and the main reason why I got all of these items. So the first brand that I'm going to discuss is I Heart Makeup or um, recently they've I think they've changed it to I Heart Revolution, but on the actual products themselves they're still saying, I, well the products I've got are saying I Heart Makeup, so not quite sure what's going on there. But anyway, so the first thing is this here, and it's called Bleeding Heart, and this is a baked highlighter, and so it comes in this black box here, and then when you open it up, the product inside is here. And then I'll just take a bleed, and there it is. I mean, that there is not actually a swatch. I don't know if you can see that sort of smudge there. That was actually the lid itself that got um, pushed into it, which is kind of annoying. But yes, that's the highlighter there. I haven't actually swatched it yet, so I'll just quickly do that now. Um, just... So that's just there. And then just uh, yeah, it's not really going to show up that well on camera, unfortunately, because the lighting is just terrible from the window. But yes, that's what it is as well. And then the next product that I got, or group of products, if you will, is this brush set. So, yeah, I'm not going to hold it up for too long because the reflection of the light there. So this is a five-piece brush set that they had on there. So it's called the Unicorn Stream Brushes. And they each have a sort of unicorn horn on the actual, uh, is it handle? I think there's another word for it, but anyway. And so I picked that up just to try out, because I've got, I've got some brushes and stuff, but I just wanted to try out some new brushes and they're on sale, so I thought I might as well go for it and see what they're like. And then the next brand is Makeup Revolution itself. Just a heads up, you may see a sort of recurring theme, shall we say, with the products I got. That's, <laughs> um, yes. So the first thing is this here. And this is a vivid baked highlighter, as it says there. And this is in the shade Golden Lights. So I'll just quickly pop that open. Um, there we go. So it's just a very golden white highlighter. Uh, so this will probably show up a bit better. Um, yeah, once again, it's not like given off its true effects, but yeah, it's just basically yellowy white gold highlight. And so um, yeah, the, just quickly mention that these are vivid baked highlighters. There are well, there was originally two in the well, there was just originally just two that there were, and the other one is I've got it here. One moment, and the other shade is peach light so this is golden light this is the one that i got and this one is peach light which i got in a um christmas beauty set like christmas uh, beauty, uh revolution box uh, a couple of years ago and so i got that i have already had that one and so i wanted to get the other one that originally came in that and then i think it was possibly last year or the year before that they released an, an additional shade to that collection and with the, 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 the which is this one here and this is the rose gold lights so it's could be swatched out for you as well so it's just very sort of rosy highlights 
Um, that's it, I haven't actually tried any of these products just yet. Um, I'm thinking of doing some separate videos on them, so if you want to let me know which ones you want to see first. So in, just a quick note on this one, the original one I did get, um, it came broken, so just... Um, yeah, so just, uh, I don't know if you can see that properly with the lighting, but yeah, it all sort of came shattered. So I basically just um, emailed the people at Tan Beauty and they asked for, um, I showed them the picture of the product itself and they just sent me a replacement. Then also going down the highlighter theme, I got this palette here, which is the Soph Highlighter Palette. And so if you've, in case you are unaware, but Makeup Revolution have a few YouTubers that they work with to promote their products. And so one of them, Soph, she actually collaborated with Makeup Revolution and she bought out her own palettes. Um, one of them was an eyeshadow palette and the other one was highlighter palette. So it comes in a nice neutral box, basically. And then here is the highlighter palette itself. I can open it. There we go. Oh, and there they are. Beautiful. So there are some baked highlighters and pressed highlighters, so I believe there are, by, I mean just looking at them, I believe there's five baked and three pressed, so the baked ones are these bottom four, and then, uh, so there we go, and then that shade there, yeah, and then that shade there, so it's, those five are the uh, baked ones, and then the other three are pressed. And then the last product that I got from Actual Makeup Revolution itself, was this setting powder. So the original one that I had, I'll quickly show you, I got this back in end of October I think and I've already gone halfway through it. So this is a, um, well, what they call a baking powder and I think, so it's basically just a loose powder and there's quite a big thing on YouTube where people would use um, a loose powder and sort of bake their makeup um, and to sort of set in place and then wipe it away to um, there's a whole baking thing I may give it a go one day if you want me to do that let me know um, but basically the way I actually use this is literally as a setting powder for my whole face after I've done my foundation so I just get a big fluffy brush so I could show you so this is what I use and literally um, I'll tap some out into a little um, tray here Swirl my brush in it and literally press it into my foundation to set it into place. And it really works well, um, much better than a pressed powder I found. I found with a loose powder it helps to sort of literally um, press it in and mix in, not mix in. It just, I feel like it helps better than a loose powder is my point. Um, I may, if you want, do a video of like a comparison video between a, a pressed powder and this loose powder just so we can sort of see the difference perhaps um, if that will work I'm not too sure like in regards to on camera but um, yeah if you want me to do that let me know as well and then the third uh, sort of brand that I went for is Katie Price so if for those who don't know Katie Price has actually released her own brand like makeup and that sort of stuff and so it's available on the Tan Beauty website so uh, they're on sale so I thought I'd give it a go, see what the products are like, see if they live up to the name or not. So the first one I got was this here. Um, so all of them come with this sort of, I guess, her brand crest, if you will. You can see that, and then got KP there, um, and then the name, and then a little love card there. Um, so yeah, this is a baked bronzer. So I'll just quickly show you. So it comes in a nice compact here. And it's got a nice little bow there, which you can push to open it. And then there is a mirror there, I'll just quickly cover that up so I don't blind you. And then this is the product inside. It's got a push pressed heart in there, or stamped heart, I guess. And I'll just quickly swatch that as well. So, oh, whoa, that is really darn pigmented. See how it goes on the skin. Ooh. Okay, uh, yeah. See, I've never really used like actual bronzer before, so we'll give it a go. See what we can do with it. Yeah. So just in regards to actual um, amount of product, just in case you're interested. 
So, uh, oh, it doesn't sell now, it's sell in the box, I believe. So these come with seven grams of product, and then these Vivid Black Tyler, which are literally the same size, they actually come with 7.5, so somehow they managed to put it 0.5 more product into these ones. And then the next one I got, or the other two that I got, were her baked highlighters. That one was a bronzer, and then these are highlighters. So they come in two shades, warm and then light. So this one is the warm shade, I think. Uh, yep. <laughs> so this is the warm shade, and I'll just quickly... Once again, it has that stamped heart in there. Um, so just quickly... So it's not going to pick up as well, but there it is, there. And then I'll just quickly do the light shade, and that's more of a sort of golden colour. Um, just quickly... Ooh. So it's sort of a yellowy gold there. I mean, obviously swatching it on my arm isn't really going to do it justice on how it will perform on the face. So once again, I may do separate videos on all of these products if you'd like me to so just let me know so those were the makeup products that i got from her and then i also decided to pick up this so this is actually a perfume so it's called purple heart so this is the box it comes in beautiful stunning oh reflective purple and then i'll just quickly open it up to show you the perfume and this is the perfume inside. It is actually sort of a pinkish purple colour. It's just, I think the lighting in here isn't really doing it justice. And I've actually been trying this perfume out. So I've never actually had my own proper perfume before. Because like growing up, I never, I mean, for those who don't know, I am transgender. And so growing up, I was always given like sort of aftershave and that sort of stuff. And I just never really liked that sort of thing. So this is the first sort of proper actual perfume that I've, got of my own. So let's quickly spritz some. Oh. Yeah, I can't really explain. That's it. I'm not too sure on perfumes and how to explain the scent of it. It's got a nice... I know, I said it's sort of more of a fruity scent, I guess. I mean, there was a sort of description on the website think possibly on the Time Beauty website so once again I always leave links to the products I mention if you want to check it out um, but yeah it's quite a nice scent I have found it won't last I mean when you spray it on it is quite strong but I found um, it doesn't it's not as strong throughout the day it's more sort of subtle which is quite nice if you want that subtle scent I guess uh, so yes as I said once again I've never really used perfume and that sort of stuff before so I don't really have anything to compare it to and then the fourth brands that I went for on the website were Makeup Obsession. So this is here is an empty palette. So uh, Makeup Obsession are basically known for their sort of single eyeshadows or um, blushes, bronzer, highlighter. Basically they all come, um, I'm just going to show you one, in these single pans here. So in my two videos ago, I'll leave a little link to it, I shared my five eyeshadows that I got from them, Makeup Obsession, and so I decided to get a palette to put the eyeshadows in. So this one is a 12 pan palette, so you may be wondering, I've only got five eyeshadows, why would I want a 12 pan palette? Well, <laughs> with this order, I also went for doo -doo -doo -doo, all of these single eyeshadows. So there's 30 altogether that I got. In this order so I'm not going to swatch all of them right now because that would uh, <laughs> take forever so what I'm going to do with those in regards to more in-depth video is that I'm going to test them out over some time and then with the actual palette I'm basically going to put in my sort of top 12 if you will from the ones that I really like and then basically just customize my own palette out of my favorite 12 single eyeshadows so I thought that would be the best way to sort of do that and then I will do an update video on how I'm doing, you know, maybe like half, when I've got like halfway through, so when I've got six, and then when I've got all 12 that I want in the palette. And then maybe do a little sort of journal on that, video journal or something like that, if you want, um, or if you have any ideas about that, then just let me know. So those were all the products that I got from Tan Beauty. 
And then I also popped into Superdrug. Sometimes Superdrug on specific items slash brands, they will do a two for free, two for three offer. So two products, no, three, three for two, sorry. Um, three products for the price of two. Um, so it's the two, uh, so the cheapest item is basically free. So I wanted to get a new, well, more foundation basically, because I go through foundation so quickly. If anyone else is like that, let me know. <laughs> but yeah, I picked up two foundations and then I picked up a new mascara because I like to change my mascara every three months and so three month mark is coming up soon. So I thought I might as well try something different. Um, so this one is the Rimmel London uh, Extreme Black Volume Mascara. So yes, if you've tried this one out or anything like that, then um, yeah, just let me know. And then the actual foundations I got. So um, normally I have been getting the in, I've been getting the shade 100 Ivory, and it is really good match for my skin tone and everything like that. But what I found is that in because as I said I'm transgender, and it doesn't the uh, Ivory shade doesn't fully cancel out the facial hair on my upper lip. So it does well everywhere else in the face. But it doesn't do well on that area, I still feel like it um, is quite noticeable coming through. So I thought I might as well try it, see if I can try a different shade and see if that will help. So I went for the shade 200 Soft Beige and so that's one I've actually got on at the moment. So yeah, I've actually found this works better cancelling out that sort of shadow area on my top lip. And it just gives me an overall warmer, glowy complexion as opposed to this one which just leaves me uh, very sort of not really like you know what well sometimes I can look a bit washed out especially on camera when I use the ivory shade but the soft beige I feel like I have much warmer uh, complexion it's not like you know over the top where I look sort of spray tanned or anything like that it's just a very sort of natural glowy colour to my skin basically. So that was everything I got and as I said if you want me to do any other videos in regards to these products or if there's anything like you want me to do first then let me know in the comments down below and I will be sure to do it. But with that said I hope you liked this video, if you did please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to comment and subscribe if you haven't already and I shall see you next time. Bye bye! Mwah.